Hello and welcome to the International Baker DNG. Hello and again, welcome to the International Baker DNG. Again, I repeat it. Here is a mix for a completely vegan, non-dairy, eggless chocolate cake made with, I'd say about a cup, a, a, a three-fourths of a cup of dates with the milk and the oil and the a fourth of a cup of oil, a fourth a cup of milk, of, of oat milk, which is non-dairy, and a fourth of a cup of water. Actually, three-fourths cup of water. And then put it on a double boiler and mix it with the chocolate chips and the dates all together. Mix it together, then you also, I, I would add um, today I kind of a little bit cheated and used a brownie mix from Trader Joe's a little bit into it with a teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of uh, baking powder. And then um, I sifted uh, two cups of flour with uh, sifting also the baking powder, the soda, and the coke and the three fourths of or. Uh, yeah, no, I put one fourth of a cup of cocoa and sit, sorry, two thirds of a cup of cocoa, sifted it with the flour, with the baking soda, with the pinch of salt, with a half a, te half a teaspoon of salt. And um, I mixed in with it also um, a little bit of the, of the, of, uh, what they call it, of chocolate jello uh, pudding. For the purpose, because of this vegan, I also added egg, re egg replacements, which I added like three tablespoons. And then I added some wa hot, hot boiling water with Nescafe coffee in it and mixed it all together. And uh, you want to make sure that you've got enough in there to uh, like starch also. I also put starch in there in order for it to hold it together. So the pudding, the instant pudding has, uh, I guess some kind of glutinous in there that is, um, will hold it together uh, very good when you bake it because after you bake it and it cools off, it may bake and everything, but it will fall apart. So you either might want to put it in a small, uh, pan and flatten it and let it cool and then pour some chocolate ganache and let it cool and eat it as a, as a as like they would make a flourless um a flourless chocolate cake and then you bake it 400 and with the dates you might not want to add a cup maybe add three-fourths of a cup is better so that they will, uh, the, the, the combination of the chemical mixture will mix together good. And actually came out pretty good. Here's the finished product of what it looks like. I'm gonna play, be pouring also chocolate ganache, which I also made as a non-dairy, it's a vegan. And I use castor, I use, uh, well not castor, I keep wanting to say castor oil. <laughs> um, with uh, what they call coconut oil and um, uh, what they call it, um, coconut oil. Uh, and here it is. This is, this is what I'm going to be pouring on it. With coconut oil, dark chocolate chip, artisan, dark chocolate chip with four only grams of sugar. That's the best. It'll give it a taste. Then you can add your own, you can add, um, what they call it, honey. Or you can add honey and you can add maple syrup, a little bit, a fourth of a cup maple syrup and maybe a fourth of a cup uh, of honey. Uh, and then add some corn starch, uh, some corn starch, and then, you know, mix it together and make sure you add some milk, non oat milk. If you want it non-dairy, if you don't want non-dairy, just add regular milk or heavy cream. But I added non-dairy milk with, with the oat, what they call it. اهلا وسهلا بكم هذا 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 هو الفوق اللي بدي احطه فوق الجاتو اللي عملته الجاتو بدون بيض وبدون حليب بدون غير غير من البقره حليب تبعت الحنطه 
وهذا هو النتيجة وهذا هو الخلطة الثانية اللي بيطلع منه تنتين هالخلطة فعملت تنتين قاتوات فهذا الخلطة الثانية راح حطيت فيه شوي رمفل رمفل وقرفة وشوية بدي حط فيه شوية جوز الطيب كمان بس هذا حطيت له بياض شوية بياض البيت وحدة أما هذا الثاني لا جربوه كثير طيب